All right, we've got uh, Corey Taylor. Questions for Corey? Hey, Corey, from your point of view, um, what was the problem the first half there in the, the red zone, not being able to convert there? Um, I mean, obviously, weather always plays a part, but I'm at the end of the day, it just comes down to us executing. That's really it. Um, you know, there was a lot of things that we all could have done better. Um, it's a game of inches, so I think it just really comes down to execution. Hey, Corey, uh, obviously a, a bright spot of the game was, was you. Uh, the way you ran, I mean, it's kind of a microcosm of the way you've handled it your whole career. Uh, just kind of what mindset did you have going into this game? Uh, and given with the eligibility, have you thought about if it's your final, if you if you do, or anything like that? I guess just your mindset and, and how the game went for you personally. Yeah, for me and, you know, in the running backs room, we want to contribute in every way possible. Uh, I'm a physical runner. I know that's part of my – uh, skill set. So I try and always bring that to my game, come out and set the tone physically, um, which I try to do the best of my ability. And more than anything, I just wanted to leave on a good note. Uh, this is my last year here at Tulsa. So, um, you know, just leaving those guys with all that effort and letting them know. There you go. That's new. And care for them. Uh, so, yeah. I'm sure Tom. When did you make that decision? Was that after this game, or did you have this decision coming into this game? Me and me and Coach Monty and uh, Coach Hill have been having talks, you know, um, throughout the year and the season. Um, and for me personally, I just felt like, you know, at some point, everybody has to kind of hang them up in college. Um, and this has been my home for five years, and. Um, you know, I'm extremely grateful for the opportunity and to be in the position to be able to play for the coaching staff and play with my teammates. Uh, but this is be the end of my journey. I mean, it makes it that much sweeter knowing that it has to come to an end. Um, and I mean, it was a blessing for sure. Corey, what does the position look like next year? You think um, you think that they're going to be stocked to, to be OK running back? It seems like they might be, but just your assessment as to how the offense might look next year. I can tell you the offense next year is going to be insane. I, I think you saw a lot of sparks um, of electricity this year, big plays, uh, playmaking ability. But I can speak specifically for the backfield. Um, I don't I don't know if we've had a backfield as strong as we'll have next year. I mean, next year is going to be absolutely crazy. I mean, obviously, you get Shamari back, um, who's going to lead that room, and TK, and obviously guys like Daneric, who stepped up this year, Chris Love and Anthony. Um, they're going to do an amazing job as well. I'm super excited to be able to sit back and watch them um, every game and every Saturday just go crazy, really. Corey, as you ended your career, what has Tulsa meant to you? What has TU meant to you, and how have you grown? Man, TU's meant everything. Uh, extremely humbled just to be a part of such a strong community, strong family. Um, that's in the city that I grew up in. Uh, I've, I've grown a lot while in my time here at the university. And, you know, I'm forever indebted to everyone who's been involved with that growth, everyone who's in the community. Um, and his reign came forever. Corey, man, especially in a game as physical as this one, I mean, you were a man on a mission. What did it feel like and how good did it feel to run guys over in this game and break for those big runs and score touchdowns in this game? Um, just what did it mean to you to have the game that you had uh, today, uh, especially with, with your success in those long runs? You know, it, it felt really good. I mean, as a running back, you always get so much joy being able to go out there and perform the way that you want to, um, which – I can't say that I did 100% the way I wanted to, but, um, you know, being able to make those plays, I'm happy I got to help contribute to uh, our team going out there and playing a physical game. Um, this team is a great team, and I have the highest of hopes for them next year. I know next year we're going to go get it all. So, You guys, the, the veteran leaders in this team, seem to have created this kind of culture of just having heart and 
no quit in you guys. How much confidence do you have in the younger guys to be able to kind of carry that torch after you guys are gone? Oh, so much. I mean, it starts at the top. And like you said, it's, it's embedded in the culture. That is what TU is all about. Um, that culture is very strong, and I don't think anyone has any doubt about that inside of that locker room. And I know 100% that will uphold that standard, and they'll continue to take it to new heights. Corey, do you have any idea what, what sparked that, that mess at the end of the game today? You know, honestly, I have, I have no clue. Um, I, I really don't know much about it, but, um, I mean, the events played out. The, I'm not sure. were, were you in the middle of it at any point, or were you trying to pull guys away, or what was your role in all of that? Uh, I, I wasn't in the middle of it. Um, but obviously, you know, the number one goal is to keep our guys safe. Um, and I hope that was Mississippi State's goal as well. So um, we got our guys back in the locker room and good to see everybody. Um, hopefully everyone made it out okay. Yeah. Do you worry that that's going to leave a real sour taste? I mean, it shouldn't, uh, given all the things you guys did this year, but you hate to see it go down like that like that right at the end are you, are you worried that 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 image is going to linger at all or it's also football no just, just or for the game for the, for the game uh i'm not sure you know when things get media coverage it depends on what they're circulating what about the game but um for sure about us in this community uh tulsa football i mean we came out and we played a game that was the goal that was a mission that's what we did uh, we try to execute to the best of our ability. So we'll go with that in mind to the off season. Any more questions for Corey? All right. All right. Thank you all. We appreciate it.